Have you ever tried the ball in the funnel experiment? It's a great demonstration and today we're going to see if we can do it bigger and better and we'll also take a look at some of the science behind it. Now here's some of the materials we're going to use today. We have all different types of air sources, funnels, all different types of objects we're going to lift, but let's start off and go back and look at the original demonstration. If I blow hard enough through the homemade funnel, I can support the ball in the air. If I blow when the ball's in the funnel, the ball stays inside no matter how hard I blow. Even when the funnel's upside down. Now to improve this demonstration, the first thing we need is a better air source. Here's a pump used for blowing up air mattresses and a plastic ball. It's a paper showing us that the air is going out. Now let's give it a try. I think this is my favorite example. It's a hair dryer that has a paper funnel attached to it. It also has a switch that shuts off the heating element, so it'll just blow cool air. The stream of air is not very strong, but it is enough to support the ball up in the air. And once in the funnel, it stays there. Of course, we can try some of nature's round objects. Now, if we look around, we can find some other rounded objects that should work. Now what's going on in this demonstration? Hopefully these foam pieces will give us a better clue. The air stream is strong enough to support the ball when it's blown from underneath. If we try it above it, it just pushes it down. Next let's try it in a container where the walls are straight. Once again the air stream is pushing the ball down. Here the string shows us that the movement of the air is towards the perimeter of the ball. I'll try it again with just the funnel. It looks like the funnel helps direct the air smoothly over the surface of the ball. We can also see the coanda effect. As that gap gets narrower between the two surfaces, the air has to move faster. This fast moving air then reduces the pressure on the top surface of that ball, so it's the atmosphere that's actually pushing the ball into the funnel. Let's see if there's a difference between a round surface versus a flat surface. The air movement looks similar to what we saw with the straight walls. Let's see if it works with a more rounded funnel. That doesn't look like it's helping either. I would guess there's just too much turbulence. Here's one more thing I was curious about. What happens on the ball directly underneath the airstream? To find out, I cut the top out of the center of the ball. It looks like the very top of the ball is being pushed down, but the rounded sides of it is actually being lifted up. So it appears there's a small region of increased pressure 
but it's overcome by a much larger area of reduced pressure. All right, I think we should try one last round. I have some more objects here. This time the airstream is going to be from this leaf blower. Now, just to show you that it's blowing air. Now, let's go see what we can lift. Well, I was a little disappointed in that pumpkin. I thought I'd give it another try, so I went back and smoothed out the top of it. Even with the smooth top, we still can't lift it. We were able to lift up a bowling ball, and that was pretty impressive. Anyway, I'd like to thank you for watching, and come back and see us again. Okay, bye.